everyone, it's Prue here from Hepburn Libraries and welcome to another edition of 5 Minute Science. This is where we explore scientific concepts using really easy and fun experiments that you can try at home. And the best thing is it only takes about 5 minutes. Okay, so let's get into today's experiment. Now today we are going to turn milk into plastic. Can you believe it? All right, let me show you what we're gonna do. The first thing we need is we need some milk and we need it to be quite warm. So I've just microwaved this so it's quite warm. Mm, it's quite nice, just full cream cow's milk. And we need to add an acid to it. So I'm just using white vinegar, but you can also use um, lemon juice as well, but just a standard white vinegar is fine. So what I'm gonna do is very messily pour my milk into this bowl so you can see what's happening. I'm just going to use an eyedropper and I'm going to add my acid, okay, to the warm milk. And I'll add, I'll add a little bit so we can see what's happening. And then I'm going to start to give it a bit of a stir. Now what's starting to happen is the acid is actually affecting the proteins in the milk and it's getting them to clump together. It's what we call coagulation. Let's add a little bit more acid, a bit more vinegar. Now this will work faster if you have warmer milk as well. So the more acid you add, the more it'll coagulate. The warmer your milk is, the more it will coagulate. You can start to see now those lumps coming through. Can you see that? It's really starting to change color and shape. If you look through the glass, you'll see that the liquid, the milk is getting clearer and clearer as those milk proteins stick together. How cool is that? Now, this has actually formed what's called casein. So when your milk coagulates together, those milk proteins stick together, it's what we call casein. And casein is actually a word that comes from the Latin word meaning cheese. Because do you know what we've just made? Cheese. This is actually the process that they use to make really simple cheeses like ricotta. So if you wanted to make a really simple ricotta, you just need to heap some milk up, add an acid like lemon juice or vinegar and drain off the liquid. Now the liquid is called whey. So the other thing I've made, the other name for this is curds and whey. So the solids are called curds and the liquid that's left over, that clear liquid you can see, that is actually called whey. Remember little Miss Muffet? She sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Well, hello little Miss Muffet. I can see what? She's just tucking into the curds and whey. So that's exactly what this is. I've made curds and whey. Now I did say we we're gonna make plastic. Well actually, casein is actually used to make a whole lot of different things. So it's used now to create things like paint, glue, um, they actually use it to put into things like protein supplements. They use it in a lot of food additives. So if they want to make something really creamy, like one of those, you know, creamy cup of soups, they'll put some casein in that. And they also used to make a certain plastic out of it for things like buttons. They even made fiber for cloth. So how's about that? Making cloth out of milk. That's pretty cool. And nowadays, casein is often used in a lot of medical products and a lot of dental products. So who knew the humble moo juice could actually make a whole range of fascinating products. So that's just by adding a little bit of acid to our cow's milk, changing that protein structure, getting them to all stick together to coagulate, and you get a whole different product that has so many different uses. 
So that's today's experiment. Have a go at home. It's lots of fun. If you are heating up the milk, make sure you get um, an adult to help you so you don't burn yourself. But have a bit of a look. And the best thing is, uh, you can eat it as well. Amazing. I'm going to just tuck into this curds and whey, just like little, little Miss Muffet, except I like spiders, so that's okay. If a spider comes along, I'm not going to run away. I'm just going to keep eating. So that's today's experiment. Have fun with this one at home and see how big you can make your curds. How chunky can you get your casein to become? Hope you've enjoyed this five minute science. Make sure that you have a look at our YouTube channel and our Facebook page because we've got lots of other activities, lots of songs, lots of stories to entertain you while you're at home. So make sure you subscribe and like our pages and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Mm, this is good. Yum.